ISTQB, Foundation Level, Question 135. Given the following test activities and tasks, A. Test design, B. Test implementation, C. Test execution, D. Test completion. 1. Entering change requests for open defect reports. 2. Identifying test data to support the test cases. 3. Prioritizing test procedures and creating test data. 4. Analyzing discrepancies to determine their cause. Which of the following best matches the activities the, the tasks? Answers. A. A is 2, B is 3, C is 4, D is 1. B. A is 2, B is 1, C is 3, D is 4. C. A is 3, B is 2, C is 4, D is 1. D. A is 3, B is 2, C is 1, D is 4. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed and changing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do, and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ISTQB questions on a regular basis. Let's look at all the statements from 1 to 4 according to ISTQB syllabus. Statement 1. Entering change request for open defect reports corresponds to the test completion. In the test completion phase, change requests are often entered for open or unresolved defect reports, indicating that some defects may require further action or resolution. Statement 2. Identifying test data to support the test cases corresponds to the test design. During the test design phase, where you plan how to approach testing, one of the tasks is to identify the test data required to execute the test cases. Statement 3. Prioritizing test procedures and creating test data corresponds to the test implementation. The implementation phase is phase the testers prepare for the actual execution of the tests. Test procedures are prioritized and arranged within a test execution schedule for efficient test execution. Statement 4. Analyzing discrepancies to determine their cause corresponds to the test execution. During the test execution phase, Discrepancies or defects are analyzed to determine their cause and potential impact. In summary, all of the above leads us to the correct answer A. A is 2, B is 3, C is 4, D is 1. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 1.4.1, test activities and tasks in the ISCQB syllabus, where we can see all test phases, test activities and tasks with explanations. I suggest you figure out this section on you own. This question is some difficult. Please be highly careful and attentive with all definitions, figure out them. And you obviously pass the ISTQB Certified Tester Foundation Level exam. Never give up!